Auburn fans are still celebrating the Tigers' big five-star flip of Cam Coleman, but Hugh Freeze is already working on the next big flip. And today, we got a new name to put on Auburn Flip Alert. We're going to bring on Jeffrey Lee from Auburn Live to break down the new mystery flip target and check in on a few Alabama flip targets as well. But first, Auburn fans, hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. Nobody covers the Tigers like we do, and the next two to three weeks is going to be crazy. So make sure you hit subscribe. All right, the Tigers, they made the country take notice on Friday when they flipped five-star Cam Coleman. So let's bring on Jeffrey Lee from Auburn Live to talk more. But Jeffrey, they are not done. Now we're going to talk about the mystery name that you guys revealed over the weekend on Auburn Live, but I want to check back in on a pair of Auburn flip targets. Now we're talking defensive lineman Jeremiah Beeman and Ryan Williams. We'll start with Beeman. He is probably the most important target on that defensive line board. And the last time we had you on, you know, we didn't really talk Beeman a whole lot. What is going on right now? Where do things stand between the Tigers and Jeremiah? Well, the push continues from Auburn. You know, they, they, they've sent coaches to him, uh, to his game. They've, they've met with him uh, in the home. They will continue to do that. They've got him on campus several times, including uh, for the Iron Bowl. So it, he's, no, he's no stranger to campus. He's no stranger to that environment inside the stadium. He's certainly not no stranger to these coaches, and uh, including Hugh Freeze. Uh, I still think it's going to be difficult for Auburn. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think, obviously, if he ends up anywhere but Alabama, it would be at Auburn. But, man, it's going to be tough. Um, you know, Jeremiah, he comes from a uh, from an Alabama household. Uh, you know, he lives probably 40 minutes down uh, down the high, uh, down the interstate from Alabama, from Tuscaloosa. So it, it's not going to be as easy. Uh, as, of course, flipping a kid from Alabama never is easy. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's certainly going to be probably the more difficult of the flip targets Auburn still pursues. I have uh, not as much confidence in him as some of the others. All right. Let's talk about another Alabama flip target, and that's five-star wide receiver Ryan Williams, who's currently in the 2025 class. Now, over the weekend, Ryan Williams dropped a countdown. It, it, at the time, it was nine days. Now we're probably seven days away from it expiring. But he didn't exactly say what the countdown's for. Now, I had a couple ideas. I thought it could either be him maybe announcing that, hey, he's locked in with Alabama and he's shutting down his recruitment. Uh, I think he could announce that maybe he's reclassifying. Those rumors have been swirling that he's going to actually move up to the 24 class. Maybe he's ready to announce that big flip to Auburn, or maybe he's just dropping a top 12. What do you think he's going to do with this uh, announcement that's coming in seven days? Josh, of, of those three options, I would think the uh, reaffirming his commitment to Alabama and shutting his recruitment down is the least likely of the mm. group. I think the most likely of the group is announcing his reclassification to 2024. And, you know, it's funny. Ryan, listen, if you've ever talked to Ryan, interviewed Ryan, he is fantastic, an unbelievable kid, um, knows what's going on. He's very mature. So he knows, you know, he, he says the right thing to Auburn, things to Auburn reporters after the Iron Bowl. And then he turns around and he says the absolute right things yeah. to the Alabama reporters mm -hmm. after the Iron Bowl. He knows this game. I covered his dad in recruiting. So, I mean, the, his dad, um, you know, BC Rain cornerback who signed with Auburn back in the day 20 years ago. Um, so he, he knows that he, he knows he's well aware of how this game works. Um, so, uh, you know, at, it was funny because after the Iron Bowl, you know, he said all the right things to us Auburn reporters. And then I, my last question to him was, uh, so, look, the next thing in your recruitment is going to be whether or not you reclassify. And he says, maybe. And as he walks away, he looks back and he goes, or I might flip. <laughs> now, you know, so, again, he knows who he, knows who he was talking to. Yeah, and, and exactly. He knows his audience. So, That's a uh, so, funny my, one. so my where do you, so where like, do you put Ryan Williams right now? Is this a 50 50? Are you leaning a little bit more toward Auburn, a little bit more toward Bama? Where are you at with it? I, I've got it 50 50. I really do. I, I really don't have <clears throat> as much positive as I hear about him sticking with Alabama. I hear the positives about him sticking, mm -hmm. uh, him flipping to Auburn. I really do. I think there's a lot of constant confidence at Alabama that he, he sticks. I think there's a lot of confidence at Auburn that they've got a really good shot to flip him. I'm just right there in that middle, man. I'm not ready to, to commit to one side or the other. I mean, if, if, if you know, if, if Shannon Terry sent me down right now and said, hey, you know, make a pick or you're done, I would say Alabama. Uh, but I'm glad he's not doing that because I don't know that I would be right. 
<laughs> All right, we'll, we'll keep tabs on that. We got about a week until that decision. Now let's talk about the mystery name that Auburn fans are talking about right now on Auburn Live, and that is four-star defensive lineman Amaris Williams. He's from North Carolina, but he's committed a UF, which you know hasn't been much of a stumbling block for Auburn because they just flipped Jamonte Waller from the Gators, but they got competition. The Buckeyes, Tennessee, they're also involved. Now we put Auburn in the mix. So Jeffrey, what are your sources saying? on where things stand between Auburn and Amaris Williams as we're about two and a half weeks till signing day. Right. Uh, about a week before sign, uh, the Iron Bowl is when I first heard Amaris Williams' name connected with Auburn. Uh, there, was some, there was some buzz that he might make it to the Auburn-Alabama game, for, to the Iron Bowl. Uh, but you could tell there was a lot of, uh, you, you say, mystery. You know, even, even Amaris didn't want to uh, admit Auburn. And, and uh, you know, from my side, it was, you know, they wanted to keep things quiet. Of course, you think about they flipped Jamonte Waller. They're also recruiting Amir, uh, Amir Jackson at one point. Yeah. I think they've kind of you know conceded him at, at, at this point. But uh, L.J. McCray. L.J. I was going to uh, say. So there was a, uh, a lot of poaching going on from Auburn, or at least efforts to poach Auburn in that uh, Florida class. So I don't think there wanted to be a lot of buzz around Amaris Williams. But when he didn't show for the Iron Bowl and he's never visited Auburn before, I didn't put much stock into it. Uh, you know, I had been tracking him for uh, for a week or two and. When he didn't show and hadn't set a visit and really hadn't mentioned Auburn um, to this point yet, I really didn't put a lot of stock into it. Uh, but, uh, but you know, him coming out, uh, <clears throat> Cole Pinkston, Keith Niebuhr, both of on three Auburn and Florida sites, uh, I think worked together to uh, to deem this. The They came out with it this weekend that uh, Amir uh, uh, Williams was talking about Auburn, that mystery mm -hmm. school was Auburn. And uh, obviously Ohio State's, I, I think, the overwhelming favorite, at least right presumably, now. right? Uh, but Auburn, I, I'm he's going to have to visit before I give it a lot of you know, yeah, put some, put some credence to it. All but right. that's and certainly possible, man. A guy yeah, to be tracking. It is. There's forward. two big weekends left before National Signing Day. Well, so we'll see what happens. But Auburn going into the weekend, they flip Cam Coleman coming out of the weekend. They're still involved in a couple more flip targets. We'll see what happens down the stretch. Jeffrey Lee from Auburn Live, thanks for dropping by today on the Inside Scoop. Absolutely, Josh. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.